Power Query already has sorting criteria where you can sort based on numbers or alphabetically. But what if you want to sort based on your own custom sorting criteria? In this video, I'm going to show you a very simple way to do that. So you can create your own criteria and then use that to sort your data in Power Query. Let's see how it's done. So here I have my data set and I want to sort this data based on the priority column. Now I don't want to sort this alphabetically. This is the sorting criteria I want to use where I first want all the task name where the criteria is critical, then it is high, then medium, then low. Now because this is not alphabetically in an ascending or descending order, I cannot use it. So I will have to create my own sorting criteria within Power Query. So let me show you how to do that. The first thing you need to do is convert this into an Excel table. I've already done that. Once you have done it, now we will open this in Power Query. So you can right click on any of these cells and then click on this option called get data from table range. You can also go to the data tab and then use this option from table range. So when you do that, it is going to open this table in Power Query. So you can see uh, the table was named task. So my query is also named task. And here I have the data. Now. I cannot use the inbuilt sorting criteria here, but I can create my own criteria. So I'm going to insert a column. So I would go to add column and here click on custom column. Now here I'm going to use a formula and the formula is going to be list dot position of. Now this function takes two arguments. The first argument is the list, which is going to be the sorting criteria that we want to use. Now, because it takes a list, I would have to provide a list here, which means I would have to, if I'm manually providing the custom sorting criteria, I would have to put it in uh, curly brackets. And then I would have to mention the list. So here, let's, let me manually quickly type it. So it would be critical within double quotes. Then I would have high, then medium and then low. So this is a list of these four items. These, these are the sorting criteria in the same order that I want. And then the second argument it takes is the value that you want to sort. In this case, I want to sort the values that are in the priority column. So I would just come here and select this column. And now see what happens when I click OK, it inserts this column here where anything which is critical is going to get a value of zero. Now, because this happens because Power Query has a zero based indexing, which means that uh, the first value would always be a zeroth value. Then the next value is going to be the first position value. So critical is zero, high is one, uh, medium is going to be two and low is going to be three. So this is fine. If you don't, don't want to be confused by zero, then what you can do is go back to this and just add one here. So you would get one, two, three instead of zero, one, two. So here now critical has value of one, high has two, medium has three and low has four. And now it is very easy. I can sort this data based on these values here. So for example, in this case, if I want to sort this where critical is at the top, I'm going to sort it based on ascending criteria. So you can see my data is now sorted. I can come here, I can remove this custom column and then I can load this data back into Excel. So I can go to file, close and load. And this is going to insert a new worksheet. And you can see I have my data that is sorted based on this criteria. Now what I've done in this case is I have hard coded the criteria in the query. So let's go back into Power Query. And here what I've done in this column is I have hard coded this criteria here. Now this is fine if you just have to use it once, but if this is something that is part of a bigger query, a complex query, and you do not want to hard code this, there are some other ways you can make this more dynamic. So what you can do is, let me copy this list here. Now, there are a couple of things I can do. First is I can create this list within Power Query itself and then use that list instead of hard coding it. Or I can go back to Excel and use the sorting criteria that I have as a table in Excel. So let me show you both of these methods. First, I'm going to create a new query here. So I'm going to create, let's say a new blank query. And here I'm going to just put this list. And now when I clicks anywhere, uh, you can see that it gives me a list where it has these four items, critical, high, medium, and low. Let's call this query. Let's rename this and call this custom sort criteria. And you can call it whatever you want. Now what I'm going to do is instead of me using the hard coded values in the formula, I would go back here in the task query, go back to this column. And here, instead of me having this hard coded value, I can come can remove this and then use custom sort criteria. 
and this is still going to work just the same way uh, you can see if I come to the last step here it's still working fine but now I've not hard coded the value so if I'm using this in multiple places I don't have to go back and change everywhere I can just come back and I can make the changes here in this list that I've manually created in Power Query so this is a great way of making it a little more dynamic and foolproofing it so if you have to make changes you don't have to make changes in multiple places another thing that you can do is let's say let's come out of this and what I'm going to do is instead of me and I don't want this sorting criteria as a table so let's delete this so it becomes a connection only query now in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this table which is in Excel and this is going to become the criteria so instead of me creating the uh, creating another query in Power Query itself I can just use the, the data that I have in Excel so first I'm going to convert this into an Excel table so I'm going to hold the control key then press the T key because my data has headers, I would keep this checked. Now when I click OK, this is now a new table. I can come here and I can change the name. So maybe I can call it sort criteria table. And now let's open this in Power Query. So I would right click and then click on get data from table range. Now this table gets opened here in Power Query, but I cannot use this table here. Why? Because the formula list dot position of is going to take a list so I cannot give it a table when it expects me to give it a list so what I'm going to do is very simple right click here and then click on drill down option here so when you do that it converts your table into an Excel list uh, into a Power Query list so now I just have the same thing I have here I have a list here and I can now use sort criteria table query here so let me go back and in this case I can either use this one which I created in Power Query or I can use sort criteria table. Now this is something which is there in uh, Excel. Uh, so my criteria is in Excel, everything is dynamic. I can now close and load. And if I come back here and I change this, and I don't want this, so let's delete this. Now, if I want to change this somehow, for example, let's say I want uh, critical values, but then I want low, then medium, and then high. So I can make the changes here, then go back to my table, the result that I've got and just refresh it. And you'll see that it is going to give me critical, then low, medium and high. So you can have your custom sorting criteria in Excel itself, make all the changes, make it dynamic, and then the results would automatically update when you refresh it. So this is how you can create your own sort criteria in Power Query. The trick is in using the function, which is list.positionOf that creates this sorting criteria for you. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. If you're liking these Power Query and M-Code videos, please let me know in the comment section so I can create more such videos. If you have any specific query, again, let me know in the comment section. I will try my best to answer the query or maybe create a video on it. And also please do subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you do not miss out on any new Excel tips video I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.